Welcome back everyone. So, after my last video, which, I don't know, kind of came off as a flop. <laughs> I was filming at like 2am, forgot a lot of the steps to the death shore, which I'm going to try again and actually follow the steps this time and not kind of rush it because I felt like I did. But anyway, I switched everything up on that video and renamed it a high flow video using a hairdryer. And these were the results. So I came in last night and just outlined them. I used a PBO and acrylic marker. And this one is in so this one is in precious black. I also came in with um, an acrylic marker from Montana Cans in gold and just added just a little little bit of gold in the center here. But the rest of it was just kind of outlining where I wanted the petals and kind of getting a better feel for it and creating a gladiolus. And I'm excited for that color shift and that gold. It's picking up really pretty in areas. And then this one, this one has the color shift blue, which picks up this really pretty purple throughout. So it switches from like a teal green to a purple, purple blue right there. Yeah, I'm gonna get these all nice and varnished and finished up and my little gladiolus flowers. And today we are doing jewelry. So I have a ton to make. I have a show coming up on March 30th and I wanna get a lot of jewelry made by then, and that way I have a good selection for people and hopefully you can sell them. But one of the ideas I came up with was using high reflective tape, which is made for like outside at night. It picks up on headlights and everything else. And I thought for the snap jewelry, how cool would that be to have snap jewelry made with that high reflective? So you have a little snap that you can pop in to your snap jewelry at night and just kind of give you a little bit of sense of security. I already have some glued down. I was cutting some out. So I just gotta clean some of these up. So we have a long process ahead of us. I have containers and jewelry stuff galore that we are going to be going through. But yeah, we have a lot of fixtures, we have a lot of cabochons to glue down. I have an entire cardboard thing with layers upon layers of paint skins with parchment paper in between, and then more paint skins. I also got some fun paint skins from the paint the last video. So yeah, so I got these fun skins we're going to play with today. I'm going to zoom you guys in and then throw this into a time lapse because this is going to take quite a bit of time. When I zoom in, we're going to be taking skins, gluing down cabochons. The ones that are dry, we're, we're going to be coming in and cutting out and then gluing those into the fixtures. So let me throw you guys in a time lapse and I will see you guys in the end. Oh, just some tips for the beginners before I get completely into this time lapse. I like to use those trimming shears for sewing to cut off all the little threads and everything. I use those and they cut so perfectly around to get all that excess um, paint skins off. And I also like to have somewhere to put all the paint skins so they're not just flying everywhere. So I have a little mini trash can. Another tip, see what glues work best for you from E6000 to Loctite to Crystal Clear. If you're not sure, you can always ask, get everyone's opinion, but see what one is going to give you the best results that you enjoy. No bubbles, no yellowing, etc. Another tip, 
have something around, something heavy. I'm using a piece of cardboard and a glass egg to place on top of the cabochons when they're still wet, and it helps prevent any bubbles from forming. And you'll see I'm just going to move that egg around. <laughs> and that's what that egg is there for. It's just a weighted item to press down. It's a very repetitive thing, but it's very zen too. You know, you get to be creative. You get to find the parts of the paint skins that you want to work with, what you feel is most symmetrical or asymmetrical or appealing. But here's the time lapse, so enjoy.
Just showing you guys some a little bit closer. That's the backing of them. Just going through. I love, love the way the color shifts and everything turn out in them. And that's that Miyoted. And some gold, look at that. Yeah, I really had fun making these. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping they do really well in show. Also, any that are left over will be going straight into my Etsy. So you guys hopefully will get a chance to get some of these yourself. But yeah, just had a really fun going through all my paint skins, finding some paint skins I forgot about. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys like these? Do they look good? Let me zoom out for a full view. And also, these are the ones that have to finish. So I'll get around to those soon. Until then, bye. Also, don't forget to check out these two videos right here and click on my face to subscribe.